Hello and Happy New Year and uh, first off a warning if you're here to find out how to make a cocktail you made a terrible mistake because that's not what I'm going to talk to you about here today um, something entirely different hopefully kind of New Year appropriate it's my exercises now I am not saying you should do these exercises but uh, several people have expressed an interest in exactly what these exercises are because they're quite elaborate and I do them a lot and I talk about them on the Running Comedy podcast so um, here they are for you to peruse, ignore, ape, change, whatever. But if you don't want to see me or hear about my exercises, then for God's sake, go and have a cocktail. <laughs> um, uh, but these exercises, right, now this is uh, uh, our bedroom, but luckily uh, the bed folds up, so it's a great exercise space, thank goodness, um, in lockdown and so on. And uh, when, a couple of years ago now, I got a really bad injury, but it was like a sort of, I did a half marathon and didn't do any stretching afterwards. And I was like, Aah! and after that, I thought I must do serious stretching. And the stretching was boring. So I ran this kind of combo of stretches and other more impactful exercises that I wanted to get in the habit of doing. And uh, it didn't stop being boring, but it mixed it up, made it interesting, made it definitely worthwhile. And, uh, and then I built on that over time, and that's where we got to now. But I need to crack on, because there's blooming loads, and uh, you haven't got all day. So, I have got these um, press-up machines, uh, which I really like. You can get them different ones. I think these are called perfect push-ups, but I used to have ones that folded flat that I could carry around on tour. These ones, really heavy duty, made of cast iron. No, they're not. They're just pretending to be to make them seem more masculine. Um, and they're not, they're not magnetic or suction. You can't use them to climb up the side of a glass building. But they do really enhance your um, uh, press-ups. So when you go on them, immediately, you're really tempted. They're like more difficult but better. You know, they really focus you up. And then as you twist your wrist, they build a really perfect line between, like, from elbow to elbow across the shoulder blades. And... I'm chatting to you here, but I really have to, you've got to obviously do each push-up properly and go right down, spend kind of, a, not, you don't spend any time at the bottom, but you don't want to snatch at it, you've got to get to the bottom, stay down, um, come back up, just, you know, be present all the way up and down, and that's a proper push-up now. What's that? That's 21, 22. I do 30 of these, and the thing about that is, it's a good thing, again, a bit like the perfect but so I, I've probably lost count so do get in touch on the internet and tell me if I've got it wrong <laughs> um, <laughs> 30 of those it's a great rep you know it's pushing it I get to the end and think oh that's tough but then I can go back and repeat that and it never gets any tougher than that first one I want to do it again it's tough and, but then I do it again and again it doesn't get any less tough I'm hardly out of breath at all <laughs> <sighs> so that's uh, the first 30 push-ups with the push-up machines. Then I get into my leg stretches, right? The first one is I lean on here on, on the, I've got, this is a, a bureau that you haven't got. We need to lean on something good. Put yourself straight, feet straight, foot about two foot lengths from whatever you're leaning on. Second foot about two foot lengths further away and then stretch the back. This should be just about the apex of my heel. And then I stretch the, uh, that's stretching the top of my calf on my left. So you be completely in line, feel it's about the right length. Now I hold that for a count of 30. Now number 30 is going to come up a lot. Right? And then I do that on the other side. And then I do it, I do that twice. So it's 30 seconds on each side. And then, guess what? I get down here and I do 30 press-ups. Now I should say at this point that I always do this watching a film. It makes it so much less boring. I, uh, <laughs> I got my iPad here. And I'll play a film in it that no one else in the family would like to see, like a sci-fi or a western or anything violent. And generally, I watch something <laughs> that I've seen before, so I don't have to concentrate on it too hard. But it does really, you know, it's really great fun. It keeps me sane. So, what have I done? Press-ups, long back leg stretches, press-ups. Then I do the short back leg stretches. And that's a variation on the same stretch. But where I was going long before, this time I'm going down. So they're about half a foot length from what I'm leaning on, half a foot from the other foot. Yes, I have got a funny toe. There's no need to point that out to me. Um, <laughs> then the sink down to stretch into the Achilles and the bottom half of the calf, right? And then 30 seconds on this side, 30 seconds on this side. Repeat, guess what's next? Press-ups, 30 more press-ups. We get up to 90 press-ups. They don't get any harder. They stay hard, all right. Drop and give me infinity. Important to get all the way down 
And to make those, see I'm doing these a bit fast now, but that's for you. you to go slow. You don't have to go really slow though. It really is hard to go really, really slow. Um, just got to get that in, I've lost count, I don't know, but I do 30 of those. Then, next bit's a bit awkward. You know this stretch where you lean on something and you give yourself a thigh stretch like that? A physio told me that it's better to do that from a kind of kneeling position. And uh, so I do that. And it's really hard because it's hard on the knee that's on the ground. So I get a drum stool and a cushion. You might not have those to hand. Um, and I get on one knee like this, put the other foot out in front, lean on that, or whatever it might be, and then pull my foot up. Now, for most people, this will be easier. The idea is your heel should be on your bum, it should touch you on the glute, and I just can't do that. But you're creating a straightness through your thigh and the left side of the stomach. Now I pull the foot up like that, and actually pulling the foot is probably better. 30 seconds on that side, guess what? Actually, I don't, because of all the shenanigans, I do 30 seconds twice on this side. And then I move the thing over and I move the cushion and get that over there, and I do 30 seconds, two more 30 seconds, right? Then, that's the last time I have to uh, use anything other than the mat and the uh, push-up machine, so that's good. And then I do another 30 press-ups. And then another stretch that the physio told me about. Now this is outer glutes, it's really good. Um, you lean on something you can lean on. You put a heel on the opposite knee, and then you sit down into that. And then it's really key to keep your upper body straight, so you sort of open up your chest and then sit down even further, and you should feel it because it's stretching out around the side of your bum. When I keep talking about bum and glutes, you know, as you'll note if you look carefully, I was pretty much born glute free. So this is about strengthening the rest of my body so it can carry my complete lack of an ass while I'm doing exercises. So 30 seconds that side, 30 seconds that side, 30 seconds each side. Push-ups. Next after that, I do this one. This is much more familiar. This is what you see runners doing uh, in the park next to the bench is to get the old, uh, and this is really hard for me, so I'm gonna look ridiculous, because other people, you could probably put your foot up in the kitchen, in the kitchen cupboard next to the cornflakes, but I, mine has to go here, and then you get that straight. You should be as straight as possible, you know, getting on a straight line through the legs, and mine aren't, they're a bit splayed, but I've worked on it, I've closed them in over time. Lean on that without leaning on it hard, stretch the back of the leg, 30 seconds each side, twice. Press-ups. Now, you get to the last leg stretch, which after the press-ups, I uh, do a hip opener. So I get down here and then for the next 10 minutes I'm down here. So there's the floor work, but there's an overlap because the first bit is, is a leg stretch, the hip opener. So I sort of spread my hip like that, making sure that the right hand side of me is flat on the ground. And, uh, and then I repeat on the other side. And in the spirit of full disclosure, if I'm really enjoying the film I'm watching, I can hold it here and watch it. <laughs> That's not great and uh, probably isn't very good for the stretch. 30 seconds each side, twice. Guess what's after that? Press ups. But then, uh, the next bit isn't stretching. The next bit is uh, um, stomach muscle work. So, I stop the film, I put a song on, ideally something by Underworld, because it's got repetitive beats, and they've gone for ages, like eight, nine minutes. And uh, yeah, so after the push ups, I do um, crossover um, sort of crunches like this, like that. So, Someone again, it's all picked up information over time. So a woman at the gym said to me, remember, it's not elbow to knee, because that crunches you up much too much. You're moving your knee towards the other shoulder, the other kind of petrol, like that. And I do this again, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think it's that important to do it. It's okay to go fast, is what I'm trying to say. But don't snatch it, it's gonna be a nice kind of flow. You'll notice that the stuff I'm doing in my head is important. My head doesn't touch, doesn't completely rest to the ground. But equally, I'm only touching the sides of my head with my hand. I'm not pulling my head and neck up with my hands because you can really hurt yourself. All the work is in the stomach muscles. And that's if you think about that. And in, in this one, in the crossover one, also like around the sides of your occasion. If you have any doubt with that, just you have to literally think about those areas of the body and then they do the work. So I do 30, it's always 30. I just spend half of my life counting to 30. So I do 30 of those. Start on the left, 30 start on the right, it's just starting to tell the difference. And then I do a foot that twice. So that's four reps of 30. And then press ups. Then I come back here, still underworld. In the middle of the lockdown, I just stopped for a moment to enjoy the underworld and went like that. Just really enjoying myself. Just, and then my daughter came in and asked me a question. Just, to, just at the moment when I was rave dancing whilst lying on the floor. So that was great news for everyone. 
Um, yeah, very similar. The second round of, uh, of I don't want to say crunches, it's too, it's too nasty a word, but they're basically crunches. So I pick my feet off the floor, put the knees there, and then do these ones straight through. Again, note how gentle I'm being with my head and neck. It's not about your head and neck. I'm just pulling myself up. With a, so it's like making a fist with your stomach, but not an angry fist. <laughs> I'm not having a fight. Just using those stomach muscles. And it's just great for everything. Great for your core, great for other exercises, da da da. Four times 30. Really hard to remember how many you've done because they're all exactly the same. So I quite often do this. Third lot. Sad, but there, spirit full disclosure. Press ups, press ups between everything. All right, and then we're done. <laughs> um, Entertainment's wise, turn the music off, put the film back on. I don't think everyone's going to do that. Watch half a film and listen to a song in between. That's, that's a very me tactic. But now we get into upper body stretching and, it, and we are nearly there. So I do um, front and back shoulder stretch. This, 30 seconds of that, making pulling my shoulders down really low. So I can kind of feel it pulling away, my shoulders pull away from my neck, which you probably can't see because my shoulders don't get, go down very low, but I'm really pushing them down. Basically the feeling for a kind of the top line of my shoulder blades, like a line across my shoulders from below the top of my shoulders, but above my shoulder blades. Then, 30 seconds back there. Now this one I used to, I can't remember, head down, head up, doesn't matter, I used to put my head somewhere stupid. Your head should just be gentle on your neck and then you just lift away from your body and of course that's stretching all the front of my shoulders. Yeah, 30 seconds there. 30 seconds there, twice, press up, near the end now. Um, then I do the lower the shoulder blade. Again, you've got to keep this really low. I hold the elbow with one hand and, uh, and just pull, pull a stretch there like that. Gently, doesn't matter what happens here. You can do what you like. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, make sure, again, that the shoulder is down away from the head, body's all straight, and you're basically giving a little pull there to give a little therapeutic massage there. What, 30 seconds on the left, 30 seconds on the right, repeat press ups and that's it that's what i do so to recap it's uh, uh, all the legs works with press ups in between it's all the floor work with press ups in between upper body work with press ups in between and then finally i plank now over time i've really built up the length of my plank and credit to julia behind the camera she planks with me and uh, the, plank, the trick i find with planking is you do it for a long time i always plank to a song because if, you, if you're on the clock, it just seems like infinite. Whereas if you take a song and try and get to the end of the song, it makes much more sense. And if you kind of think about your breathing or how difficult it is, just go back to the song, listen to the words, think about where you are in the song and so on and so forth. And then go for a, as long as you can. Try and keep the body completely straight. Every now and again, you can really tie yourself out by moving around. So if you do it wrong, for example, if you wear a sleeved top or you socks, you slide around and you work so hard. So you shouldn't spend too much time doing things like that because it'll wear you out. But on the other hand, don't get locked in. If you think, I'm so stuck here, I'm so stuck, just rearrange and just get to a new position that feels better. It'll always buy you a little bit more time. And then obviously just do it for a bit and then stop. You should only build up in increments. But I would say on the other side of that, for me, the whole point of planking is to do it for slightly longer than you think you need to. So because it's about that, it's about psychological training for hanging in there. And that's pretty much why I do it. So, but you build that in a logical way. And then it becomes like the press ups. So that doing it is hard and you always feel like it's difficult, but it's always that difficult. Yeah, so and if you find it easy, if you're planking a quarter of an hour and it's easy, you need to start planking 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't plank 20 minutes. But, or, or 30 seconds, whatever it is, build it up. Start with a realistic aim, build it up a little bit at a time. And when it feels like, oh God, I can't believe I did it today, every day, that is the amount of time you should be planking. Those are my exercises. Don't copy me. Just have a look, see what you think. You wanted to know. There they are. Good luck. Don't hurt yourself. Don't try this at home. Try some of this at home. I don't know. Good luck. <laughs>